Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over my stock picks for the week of August the 30th through September the 3rd. Just to reiterate, not a financial advisor, make sure that you do your own research before investing. Also, if you find value in today's video, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content, and hit the notification bell. That way, YouTube can let you know when we release new content. So, other than that, guys, let's dive right on into it. All right, guys, before we get into the picks for this week, we're going to do a recap of last week. So last week, I talked about some safer picks, uh, basically some good recovery stocks that after getting beaten down, they always make a really, really good recovery. I talked about FNGU, uh, SSL, which is Sasol, and then Clean Energy Fuels, ticker symbol CLNE. As you can see, all of them recovered very, very well. Had a good week in the market last week. Uh, FNGU was up right under 11% for the week. Sasol was up over 11% for the week. And then CLNE right under 18% for last week. All right, guys, so my picks for this week of August 30th through September th uh, the 3rd is Dynatrace, ticker symbol DT, uh, Genog slash DraftKings, and then IQST. So Dynatrace is a cloud computing system with the use of artificial intelligence. It basically helps all these applications that we have on our phones uh, operate and does a ton of other things, but it's a really, really good company. That's to me a longer term play like this. This could be a potential swing play this week, but the reason I have it on this week's picks is because I think this week I'm gonna start just kind of nibbling in this stock for the longer term and this is like a three five to maybe even a, a 10 year hold but for sure three to five years i think this is going to pay um pay well and have tremendous upside but i think this week um could potentially set up for a decent entry i just wanted to put it on everyone's radar um for uh, for the future use so genog DraftKings again golden nugget got bought out by DraftKings, so it's following DraftKings, right? So as DraftKings continues to move higher, so will Golden Nugget. So it really doesn't matter which one you own currently at this point, but if you do own any of them, I just know that in my opinion, I think that we're, we're gonna continuously go higher. We're gonna have our ups and downs, but we are gonna continue to move to the upside. And I think it has a lot of good momentum moving forward. Football season's about to start. And I think DraftKings is going to continue to see some upward momentum in result so will build the nugget and then iqs tail ticker symbol iqst i think that uh i'll show you on the charts there's a, a kind of a, like a make or break thing for me as as far as if it's going to continue to move higher from this point on but i like everything that's happening with this company they're taking all the proper steps to get listed uplisted to the nasdaq and they've shown me nothing to be concerned about moving forward to continue to buy this particular stock watch list for this week guys is ticker symbol p o l a p p s i z n o g all right so p o l a and p p s i are two stocks that uh basically i call these hurricane stocks all right and as you know that we have a pretty catastrophic hurricane hitting the southeast louisiana uh today and uh, these stocks last year whenever those two hurricanes came through last august to hit southwest louisiana that uh, these things flew okay and these are dealing with you know generators and things of that nature so uh, it's something to watch out for i don't know you know necessarily if they're going to react like they did last year and pop up but it's something to kind of keep an eye on and put on your radar and znog the reason it's on my watch list is basically because of the technicals you want to watch and see if it holds support at a certain level or if it goes lower and uh, that's going to tell us a lot this week as far as how we're going to react i don't think we're going to get any type of news or updates or nothing this week at all so it'll be interesting to see exactly how the price action reacts to that yet again of uh, nothing so i could be wrong of course on that but we're going to look at the charts on every one of these stocks now and see what they're telling us all right, guys, looking at Dynatrace, ticker symbol DT. One thing to keep in mind, this thing is at the very tip top of the FIB level. So it's if you're going to do a swing play, you want to be, be kind of cautious of getting in here. You would like to see it kind of fall down before you get in. Um, if you're in it for the long term and you want to start your position, then uh, you want to make they definitely do some more research on this company if you've never heard of it. 
I'm beginning my due diligence on it now. I uh, did a lot of research on it yesterday and I'll probably make a video on it sometime later this week for a full in-depth overview. But the link for their website is in the description below if you want to start doing your own research on it. But the thing I like about this stock, uh, the techni technically speaking, that um, if you take a look at you know this red SMA line here, it's either going to bounce off of it or recover well if it goes underneath it. So you see it bounces off, bounces off, falls, bounces off of it, bounces again, falls underneath below, goes up below, and then we have some good moves to the upside. So I would see that we could potentially come down and maybe retest uh, that support of about 61 bucks. And it may not even get that low. It may bounce right back up and go retest those highs of 6830 before moving higher but to me this is again a longer term play and i think that uh it's going to move higher over the next one to three to five years i think that uh, this is a good play but anyway we'll look at uh again we'll have a full overview of that coming sometime next week so we'll look at DraftKings and golden nugget we'll look at DraftKings first because golden nuggets actually following DraftKings, right so we did get a, a good buy signal. Uh, we came up to 61.90 and fell back down to about $60. We are overvalued, right? So you can expect some type of maybe a slight pullback. But if we get above $61.22, or if we get to about $62, and we hold there, we're going to continue to move higher. So this this stock here, I do again, I see it moving higher and higher and higher for the rest of the year. But you're going to have your dips that come with it nothing just goes straight up forever all right it's gonna it's gonna sell off it's gonna pop up fall down come up but as long as we can continuously see some higher highs then that would be a good thing so we'll look at gnog in comparison to that and gnog their um, support would be about 21 22 then your next level up is going to be 2385 so if we can bust through 2385 or get about 24 bucks and hold there that's some great 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 sign for all of the GNOG holders who currently have this stock so it's something to kind of keep an eye on moving forward and last pick for the week IQST we're looking at it uh, it, it did go above that SMA line and we currently finished at about 54 and a half 55 cents true test here is are we gonna hold above there uh, or are we gonna hold support at 48 cents okay currently we are uh, our our, mate, our, bet, our first really key level of support is about 81 cents. And in my opinion, if we don't get to 81 cents and hold above there, then we could do one of two things. We could just consolidate and kind of hold tight at about this 48 cents. Or we could just continuously start coming back down because, um, you know, this is not a, a, these are some big, you know, some big buy signals and we just fell right back down. This was all for the news of uh, them uh, having some good revenue numbers and showing that they're on track to hit 60 and a half um, million dollars in revenue and showing that they took another step towards uplisting on the NASDAQ and then it just boom fell back down so uh, we'll have to just kind of watch and see what happens but in my opinion anything at 50 cents as long as it holds at about 50 cents or below that um, is a good buy so those are your uh, support and resistance levels on those all right guys taking a look at Polar Power Incorporated, ticker symbol P-O-L-A. So we're looking at currently at about right under seven bucks per share. It is currently overvalued, but that doesn't mean people won't start coming in and start pushing up higher. But your current level of resistance is 951 and your support is about 371. So this is again, this is one just to keep an eye on and to see if we start having some upward momentum. Uh, keep up with the news as far as what the storms are concerned. That's what's really going to drive this one to see if uh, we're going to go higher or not. And then PPSI, the same thing. We did get a couple of buy signals late on Friday. And that was probably people are starting to come into it based on the news of, you know, this hurricane's coming through and going to be a lot worse than uh, what probably people expected. So you could see Monday a, a little spike in price action here. Your current overall uh, resistance is 477, current support is 297. So those are some just to keep an eye on moving forward. And last one, Zion Oil and Gas, guys. If we hold support at 25 cents, 
which I think we should because we're pretty undervalued here. Uh, then we should kind of start hopefully moving up, popping up closer to around that 30 cent mark is what you want to see. And you want to try to hold about uh, right around there. But if we go lower than that 25 cent mark, man, this thing is going to continuously just bleed and bleed and bleed. But technically speaking, we should pop up at least temporarily and get a little bit higher. I would say about that 30 cent mark uh, just because of just at the technicals, we are pretty undervalued. So it's something to keep an eye on moving forward. And again, Fib level updated here to where the top overall resistance of uh, Zion Oil is $1.20 on the Fib level. So we'll just have to kind of wait it out and watch and see what happens. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Make sure that you smash the thumbs up button if you found value in today's video. And if you enjoy our content, of course, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. Other than that, guys, we'll catch you in the next video.